Welcome to another solo travel vlog. This time we're headed to beautiful New York City. We'll be boarding the Carnival Venetia for the Melanin at Sea group cruise tomorrow and so we get to spend one day in the city and explore. I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I knocked some items off my bucket list. So stay tuned. After seeing so many movies about New York and of course being a Law & Order fan, I was a little afraid of the city. I thought that it would just really overwhelm me and that there was just so much going on, but I actually flew into JFK and everything was fine. The airport was pretty, it looked good, and I even took the subway. So the way that I started doing this was because when I was looking for a lift to get from the airport to my hotel, it was over $100. And y'all know, I'm all about budgeting. So I decided to try the train for 12 and it worked out perfectly because my hotel was directly across the street from the station. So I decided to stay in the Sheraton New York Times Square. You guys will find out why in another video where I talk about my budget tips for this, but it ended up working out perfectly. Great location, directly across the street from Times Square, and really from everything you would want to do. the taxis and people outside for me like people everywhere just walking just packed streets it was literally everything that I saw on TV you can't be in New York and not get pizza so I ran up on the first pizza place I found which was Radio City Pizza now this pizza was really really good I know it probably isn't as good as like the hidden spots that would be in the neighborhoods but we weren't going there I don't know New York like that so I decided to get some garden pizza and um, buffalo chicken and that garden pizza was everything it's right there in the corner so it tasted so fresh it's just like the crust is just uh, I don't know you can't even describe it like it wasn't oily it was just like it tastes so pure I guess that's the best way to put it next it was time to head towards my bucket list item which was Summit One Vanderbilt you guys are going to see that a little bit later but as I was walking I saw Rockefeller Plaza and I got so excited because it just reminded me of the Today Show where they say live from Rockefeller Plaza so it was so exciting to just kind of walk up on it and not know that I was about to see it so I was like completely over so the next thing we saw was the Grand Central Station and I actually saw this by accident so I walked in there thinking that was the summit which is where I was trying to go but it actually was like a huge train station and there was just a lot going on there was a food hall um, pretty cool to see not really what I was expecting to see though so this is where we had in that tall building that summit one Vanderbilt it was built at the end of 2020 and it's basically like a touristy stop where you can see the entire city from there I have been looking at pictures of this place on Instagram and just dreaming of the chance to go so if I did nothing else in New York I knew I had to do this you first arrive they make you put these little shoe covers on and you guys see why in a second but this thing is a whole experience from the moment you walk in so you start off by taking pictures and then you get into an elevator that does this okay. 
That elevator is actually 60 something floors and so once you get off you arrive here in this glass room where you can see the entire city of New York. It's such an experience being a first timer. And so you get to bring your phone and lay on the ground and take all types of strange pictures. Um, this one was a lot when you first got in because you see the glass and you see so many people. So it was kind of weird just trying to find a spot to take photos. But my favorite area was this one with the balloons. This is the one that I saw in everybody's video and I was like, I have to go there. I actually did not bring my tripod this time because I didn't feel like walking and holding it. And so I actually had to prop my phone up against the screen, but it worked out perfectly because I got some good footage with the balloons and I actually found some people to take photos of me. So the next area was called air. And once you got there, you had like this little airy background behind you and you could take pictures on this step that looked like you were standing in the middle of nowhere. So um, very amazing experience. I got some great photos and this is a definitely must do if you visit New York. So the final floor of the experience is a rooftop bar where they offer small meals and drinks and you know we love a good rooftop bar. So once I got up there I had them to make me one of the signature drinks. Now I can't remember the name of this drink but they sold me on blue and cotton candy and so just imagine sipping on you a nice drink with this view. Amazing. There are plenty of sitting areas there, so I just took in the views for a moment, sipped my drink, and then it was time to head back to the room. Alright guys, so it's 5 p.m. So we're about to head to the Westin, which is where um, the Melanin at Sea group is meeting up for kind of a pre-cruise, like meet and greet type deal. So we're probably gonna grab a drink, get to see Summertime Square, and see who we're gonna be cruising with tomorrow. I am so freaking excited to meet everybody and just kind of see who's gonna be on this cruise. Um, I'm hearing it's like 300 of us, which is crazy. So um, it should be a really good time. We should meet a lot of really good people, but let's get some views and see what it's like over at the West. <laughs> thing about New York is New York was New York and in Times Square. You can hear the sirens, you can hear the horns blowing. It was such a movie. We have arrived at the Fundry Bar inside of the Westin Hotel. This is where everyone was just kind of sitting around and having small plates and drinks and getting to know each other better before we cruise tomorrow. I saw quite a few familiar faces, but I was most excited to see Shay, whose YouTube is Shay Monique. Be sure to check her out if you haven't. After leaving the meetup, it was time to head back to the room, but not before stopping for what? Pizza! I literally ate nothing but pizza the entire time I was in New York. This place wasn't as good as the first one. I should have gone back to the Radio City place because that garden pizza was everything. But when I saw this line, I was like, yeah, we're going to stop here. Next up was a quick stop at Junior's restaurant because I had to find out why P. Diddy made them folks walk to go get that cheesecake. So we stopped for dessert, had some cheesecake, and I decided to have, it's like a devil's food chocolate. It was like super chocolatey, lots of like stuff going on with it. It was good, but I was like, uh, I mean, you know, I'm a cheesecake person. And it just wasn't doing it for me with the flavor. Maybe it's the kind I got. I probably should have tried the plain too. I decided to sit outside of Junior's in Times Square and take in the views and enjoy my cheesecake. After that, it was time to head back to the room because we need to get some rest because tomorrow is embarkation day on the Carnival Venetia. It's cruise day! Welcome to another cruise series. This time I'm coming at you from the Carnival Venetia, Carnival's newest ship and it's fun Italian style. Ship. 
Let's see if we can see the sea. Oh, we can't see it from here. Don't worry, we'll see it. But we are seconds away from boarding the booth. Hey guys, so when you come in, there is no celebration. You are here on deck two, which is very different. Nobody waving, nobody welcoming you on the ship. So I must admit, I don't really like that so far, but I'm sure that's small and there'll be a party on the Lido deck and everything. So we're gonna try to mop these stairs. So there is no way I'm gonna be able to record and do this. So we'll be back in a minute. First agenda when boarding, grab a drink. And so I grabbed a drink and sat in the atrium, which is absolutely beautiful. You guys will see more of it throughout the videos. Next up was Guys. Now this one has a little bit of an Italian flair to it with some different options. And I heard these lines were terrible. But this is the worst I saw the entire cruise. I grabbed my burger and it was back to my room. I was in 11273, which is an interior room. Be sure to check out the room tour video for a full tour. Yes, I got my first um, guy's burger and I got a straight up. I decided to not try the Italian style yet because I was like, I want this first one to be what I know and be right. Uh, but the fries did not stand a chance. They are already gone before I even record it. But um, we got the guy's burger. So we are sticking with the carnival traditions for when we first get on the ship. Yeah, I'm exhausted, but I just woke up for me a quick little nap. We're going to keep count of the number of naps I took. Got me like 20 minutes in. We're headed to the Melanin at sea um, meetup where we're gonna grab our um, like little cruise packs that has the mask and everything um, for being a part of this group cruise. So we're headed down to five and of course the elevators are non-existent at this point. So we are having to take the steps. So we'll be back from the meetup in a moment. I experienced so many firsts on this cruise, but the biggest one was this was my first time joining a group as a solo traveler. Now there are over 300 people from Melanin at Sea on this cruise and it definitely was a little bit intimidating getting started. But of course, everybody who's in the cruise community, we're all cousins, so it became normal really quick. After the meetup, it was back to the Lido deck, and you know what time it is. Celebrate party! Being that this ship has such a different layout from other carnival ships, they actually used to put the celebrate party at the back of the ship near that pool. But for some reason, they switched it back to the regular Lido for this sailing. And I really like this layout. I thought that there were plenty of places to like actually observe without being a part of the party and still kind of be in the mix. After sailing away from these beautiful New York views, it was time to get into the night on this four day journey. So now we're off to dinner. Il Viaggio is an Italian themed specialty restaurant that is special just for this ship. So I decided to link up with some of the other solo travelers and have dinner and try this one out. Okay, so you choose one from each of these areas and I am struggling as far as what to get. So of course they have wines. No wine the first night though, no complimentary wine. So we won't be drinking tonight, apparently. Decision. I ordered the Caesar salad and everybody else got the soup. Look at 
I decided to order the shrimp scampi for my entree and the only thing that threw me off was the shrimp having eyes. Now, the one thing that I had to get was this pizza. The pizza has almost like a chicken patty in the bottom of it. It's definitely not anything that I expected or anything like anything I've ever tasted before. It was pretty good, but it just is different. It's not pizza-like. A time was had at dinner and it was just so nice coming together with women that you don't know and being able to just enjoy a meal together and talk about our experience as solo travelers. Of course, shots were involved, limoncello shots at that. Right outside of Il Viaggio is Versante Bar. And this bar is so beautiful from the seating area to the wall. This is definitely a good spot for photos if you're coming on the ship. All right guys, so I'm back from Il Viaggio, oh gosh, Il Viaggio, whatever, the Italian restaurant on the ship. And this restaurant had so many negative reviews and people had so much negative to say about it. And that's why I always say, take reviews with a grain of salt, even mine. You know, you really need to go and experience these things for yourself. But that restaurant was so good. Now, one of the things I got was the um, Caesar salad instead of the soup. I would definitely have done that. The Caesar salad was really basic. It wasn't that it was nasty. It just was basic. Um, but uh, the entree was really good. Um, I got a really good starter, but I really enjoyed it. And they have this really nice outside area, which I hadn't seen anybody else um, choose to eat outside on the deck. And it was just really good. Like it was breezy, but um, it wasn't hot at all, so you had like really nice views while you were sitting out. Um, and they brought you all four courses. The dessert was a tiramisu, delicious. So um, I, it's definitely something I would do again. I would love to try it again, even while I'm on this cruise um, to go again. I don't think it's gonna happen though, no, but um, I definitely recommend you try it if you get a chance to. Um, I'm just waking up from my nap, which is probably why I seem a little scattered. <laughs> um, but so after we, um, after we ate dinner, we decided to stop by, um, one of the bars and just sit and have a drink for a moment. I came here and took a nap and now it is time for the Melanin at Sea Bring Your Own Bottle, um, meetup. So the drink package doesn't kick in until tomorrow. So the laws in Texas and in New York apparently, um, say that your drink package can't kick in until the second day of the cruise and so um we're all meeting up bringing our bottle of wine and just drinking together and then there is a late night comedy show so that is the agenda for the night um you guys know from my blogs this is not the norm for me to be up and even attending events this late um but i'm power napping through it this ship is rocking 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 like i have never felt a ship move as much as I'm feeling this today. Um, I'm not nauseous at all, but I am thinking that it's gonna rock me right on the sleep like it just did when I sat in that bed for a minute. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back and going to sleep. But we have our, this is one of my favorite wines. It's a Merlot um, by Decoy. Um, so I'm gonna take this down there. Maybe I'll just take a glass, cause I don't know. Um, I don't see myself drinking that much while I'm there, if, even if they're still there, because I'm about 30 minutes late at this point. So I'm gonna roll down there, go see them, give you guys some views, and then we're gonna hit the comedy show and call it a great first night. So This wind down actually happened to be one of my favorite events of the group, just because it allow you to play cards and really get to know people. So after that, it was time to head to the theater for the comedy show, which was great that they held it there because the Limelight Lounge is so small on this ship. Good morning, it's day two of the cruise and it's a sea day. And since we are at full capacity, I am up bright and early to get sea day brunch. I'm not waiting in no lines. I heard that the wait can be pretty massive. So 
Um, I couldn't sleep anyway. Y'all know, I just cannot help getting up early. And we have set the clocks for, so I'm probably running off about four or five hours of sleep. So I expect I'll be taking a nap at some point today. But we're getting ready to head to brunch and I'm gonna let you guys see what they have there. The drink package is working today, woo! So I think I told you guys yesterday, but in um, Texas and New York, your drink package doesn't start till the second day of your selling at 6 a.m. So um, drink package is on and popping, but we're gonna get some juice this morning. We're gonna start off clean and then gradually get to the drinking. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys at brunch and we'll be back in a minute. We are at C Day's brunch and they originally set me at a table that looked kind of like that, but it was like connected to that, so real close to people. So I requested to move to one of these tables. So when I'm solo, even though it's not really awkward for me eating alone, I don't want to be like right next to people and I'm vlogging. Um, and so I requested one of these tables. So, um, you know, if they have it available, if you come early enough or if you come at a time before it gets super busy, you can request to move. And so um, these tables are perfect, I feel like, for um, solo travelers. So do that. Um, I will tell you guys, I ordered the breakfast potatoes and bacon with an omelet and also some kind of skillet thing that I've never had before. So I didn't really care for this steak and eggs when I ordered it last time. Um, and so I didn't do it this time. Maybe I'll try it again on um, our other sea day just to see if maybe it's better. But that is what we ordered today and I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like. I kept my promise to start with juice. It just happened to have a little bit of champagne in it and we had a mimosa. But as for breakfast, I got the skillet bake and this was so good. It was really thick. Um, and I also ordered an omelet with breakfast potatoes and bacon. Now let me tell you all, it's always been a highly requested thing that I review Sea Day Brunch. I tried it once on another ship and I did not like it. I was like, I don't see what you guys are raving about. This time it was fantastic. Loved it. It is Melanin at Sea meetup time. It's day two. If you know anything about Melanin at Sea, you wear your brown shirt on day two. So um, we're getting ready to meet up and do, I think, a group photo and probably like some dances. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to participate because <laughs> I'm tired. I am already tired. I told y'all. Today is a rest day. Um, but I'm going to go down there and meet up with them and then come back here and I guess rest until elegant night. So let's go. follow a lot of us just kind of hung around and talked and got to know each other a little bit better shout out to the host of melanin at sea and creators rich and jazzy and addy and terry they did such a phenomenal job putting this together with events and everything and it's just so beautiful to see so many of us get together and do what we love for lunch i decided to stop by guys burgers and try the pepperoni pizza burger now let me tell you guys i was not a fan and y'all know i don't say that about many things like this just was not good to me it just had too much going on including this big cold glob of mozzarella cheese it's it was a no for me All right, guys, it's Elegant Night slash the Captain's Venetian Toast. So we have mask on, we have black for now. I'm trying to decide if I'm changing in a minute. Um, but we're getting ready to head down and see what this toast is about because this is different from what you'll see on other carnival cruises. Of course, it's going with the um, Italian theme, and so the captain of the ship is supposed to come out, and it's supposed to be a really big deal. So let's see what it's all about. Welcome everybody to our Captain's Toast and 
celebration. Uh, we're going to get started here in just a moment. Uh, however, we've got our senior officers that are hanging out just on the opposite side of our musician. So if you want to have a chance to be able to mix and meet everybody, now is a perfect opportunity to come on over and you can get pictures with Kat and myself as well as all of our senior leadership. In just a few moments, we're going to have a chance to be able to welcome everybody in with the, the, an old school Venetian way of being able to celebrate. And uh, we're going to get that started right here right now with our incredible string trio. So without further ado, it is my true privilege to welcome in our string trio as we start with uh, having a chance to be all fit with our senior officers. Once again, welcome on in. We'll start in about 10 minutes time with the uh, full on procession. And uh, being able to celebrate, first and foremost, I want to be able to thank everybody for being here. I'm not just talking about coming down to the captain's welcome. I'm talking about being here on board the Congo Nets here. We know that you could have chosen to be anywhere else in this world, and the fact that you chose to be with us means the world to us. So we thank you for coming on down and being a part of our family. And when we say the family, well, you're stuck with us whether you like it or not. So that's why we got you in. The man, the myth, the legend himself, overseeing the entire ship itself as well as all the souls on board. We've got the best captain of the seven seas with the best smile, the best heart, and the best work ethic. Please help me welcome out the incredible, the one and only Captain Enzo! Thank you, and uh, I appreciate all the more to the beautiful Stanislav Valencia is uh, my honor to be as a guest and to be the captain of this amazing mission. to go to the comedy show and let me tell you guys this was probably more comedy shows than I have ever attended on the ship I guess I really needed to laugh but as you guys can see the line is pretty long and I probably got there 30 minutes before this show started so if you want to see comedy on the Benicia get there early Alright guys, so it is 10.30. I'm back in the room after the comedy show. The comedy show was really good. Um, that is the last one for the night. So they're going to have, I think they said one or two tomorrow. Um, of course, tomorrow is Bermuda. Um, as far as thoughts on the night, um, dinner in the main dining room was really good. I did ask, but I didn't see that they had lobster on the menu. So I don't think they do lobster for elegant night. They do more of um, Italian meals. Which I guess is, I don't know. I feel 50-50 about it. I kind of miss having my lobster and my fancy meal, but I did get steak, so I was happy about that. Um, of course, tomorrow night we're going to the steakhouse and um, we're going to Bermuda. And so um, tomorrow will be a day in port. I don't know how much time I'm going to spend off the ship. Um, but people have been really talking smack about the fact that they didn't see me last night. I don't know if they don't watch my vlogs and they don't know. I don't stay up late. I don't do the gloves, but I want to do it tonight because, you know, I just really enjoy cruising with this group of people that um, I'm with. And so, you know, the vloggers, they ain't going to be talking smack about me tonight. So since it's 1030, I'm going to get me a little bit of a nap and then um, get up at 12 to hit Limelight Lounge. So same place as the comedy club. We're going to be back there and oh, excuse me, just kind of party with them and um, see what's up. So we'll see how long of a night it'll be, <laughs> but I think it's going to be pretty funny. Oh, another thing. I think I just checked my um, hub app and I think I've had like six or seven drinks today. And I'm really surprised because I always plan to have like two. Um, of course, one of them is this blue look. It's still sitting here. I can tell y'all now I really did not drink it. Um, it was just, it was supposed to be a slush, but it's just so sweet and syrupy. So I've switched to doing wines now. 
Um, and so that is how I'm getting my drinks in, but I have gotten my money's worth from this drink package already. <laughs> I'll say that because I had a hundred dollars on board credit. And so I only paid 120, um, of course, because this is a four day cruise, we couldn't activate the drink package the first day. So it's only three days worth of drinks and I've gotten my money's worth. So it's turned out to be worth it surprisingly for me. But, um, next views we'll see will be from the nightclub after my nap, of course slash pregame so i will see you guys back in the club yeah i am so embarrassed but i am this person when i go to the club like it takes me a minute to get going and wake up but once i finally did i was good and i actually stayed out to 2 30 this day i clocked it because it probably won't ever happen again but it was a good time and i'm really glad i got to hang with everybody this night so shout out to all my fellow friends that peer pressured me into staying up it's 2 30 in the morning and look at the ship this is the main atrium. Nothing going on. We shut the club down. And I am in line for pizza after leaving the club. So definitely a record has been set for the ladies I've stayed up on the club. Mm, mm, mm. After getting my pizza, it was back to the room to get some rest. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys for day three in Bermuda. definitely overdid it and I definitely feel like shit today <laughs> and I'm definitely hungover so um I'm gonna get off the ship go and do the melanin at sea photo op um and around hang out for a second see what we can see and then probably get back on the ship and go to sleep but looking forward to the day and cannot wait to show you guys what we get into so we'll be back Bermuda, we are here in front of the beautiful Carnival Venetia, and this is our only port. So this is a four-day cruise. Um, so we're getting ready to explore Bermuda, go to Snorkel Beach, catch up with um, some of the other Melanin SC members, and see what Bermuda has to offer. We're only here for a short time, so we're here for a good time, not a long time. So let's get into today's vlog. And there are all kinds of things that you can rent um, and do. I've seen jet skis somewhere around here. Yep, over there. Um, get one of these little car thingies. Rent one of those. But yeah, plenty to do. Snorkel Park Beach Club. 
Um, it was maybe like a, mm, I say five minute walk. They say it's two minutes, but it took a girl a minute to get here. Um, so we're about to go inside. I've been told that it's fifteen dollars. So I'm gonna find out how you pay. Um, you can bring cash card, you know, whatever. Um, but we're about to go in here and see what the beach is hitting on. Like me, when you think of Bermuda, you think Bermuda Triangle. I have to admit, I came into this with really no expectations slash low expectations, but this port was absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend checking out Snorkel Park if you need an affordable option of something to do while you're here because there's so much to do. to the water you definitely need some water shoes there are rocks all at the shore and they are hard they definitely hurt so bring your water shoes we in the water we in Bermuda how I'm okay bringing my phone in the water I have a floating waterproof case I will be sure to link it in the description below it's from Amazon and it's very affordable let's do it here is the serenity deck on the carnival Venetia we are docked in Bermuda right now um, so there aren't as many people up here I'm gonna give you guys some views of this deck. It is absolutely beautiful. Love your design. Um, I have found that it's a lot smaller than your typical Serenity deck, and there is no main pool in the circle, which is a bummer. But beautiful chairs, plenty of seating. There is a hot tub here. And of course, there's a small bar as you come around the corner. So there are seating um, tables and chairs here. Just all types of scenery and of course cabanas. But definitely a gorgeous setup. You can get your yellow towels there. Alright, and this is what the hot tub looks like up here. Alright guys, we're getting a little afternoon hot tub action. Um, so everybody's getting back on the ship now. We're going to be leaving here in probably about 30 minutes um, and headed back home. So this cruise is getting down. I told y'all it's a short four day. So um, it's been a good time. It's been a good time. So tonight we have to look forward to white night. Um, and then we're going to do moonlight and cigars together as a middle of the next sea. Um, and what else? I have the steakhouse. So we've rotated this out a little bit, so I'm looking forward to trying it on this ship. So um, I'm gonna just chill here and relax, and we will see where the night takes us. Like we 
have not gotten a good haul walking photo. This is today's fit. Amazon, I will link it in the description somewhere. But we're headed out. We outside. Let's go. Hey guys, so it is still day three. We are out of the room and getting ready to get into the night activities. I had a six o'clock reservation for the steakhouse, but I just moved it to 9.30. Um, just a little tired and I'm just kind of dragging and I just really wanted to like take a little bit more time to lay down. Um, so I think we're going to go to a comedy show before um, dinner and just walk around and, you know, maybe check out one of the bars and see what else is going on around the ship. We began the night at the Amari Bar, which is similar to the Alchemy Bar on the other Carnival ships. And this is where I discovered mocktails. Now, I knew that my stomach didn't really feel right and I felt off, but I didn't discover till the next day that I was actually seasick. So mocktails were my saving grace in keeping my stomach settled without taking in any more alcohol or wasting my drink package. I got an Italian margarita and it was so good. I was hooked. It's made with liars, which um, has like mocktail um, gin and every other kind of alcohol you can think of, but they were so good. Next stop was the Punchliner Comedy Show, and as I warn you guys, the line and the setup is just very awkward. It was so long. Um, I did make it into this show, though, some kind of way. I don't know how they had enough seats, but get here early because this is what you have to deal with in the hallway. Hi, guys. We're headed in. This is Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, night three. If you've been following my blogs, you know Fahrenheit 555 is my favorite cruise restaurant, period. They never miss. I have never had a bad steak or a bad meal at this restaurant, and I have booked it on every carnival cruise I've been on. I look forward to going on the first night, usually because they give you a choice of a red or white bottle of wine, and if you don't finish it, you can take it back to the room with you. So that's always a way to get some extra alcohol to your room at a discount. Well, kind of free. Um, and so this time I tried these mushrooms which were so good and they're like breaded and parmesan crusted. I love that for the appetizer. Also I had the shrimp which you guys saw a minute ago. But my go-to is this surf and turf. This filet mignon is always good and the lobster is always juicy. I did get broccoli and mashed potatoes on the side also. Alright guys, so this is the melanin and sea cigars on the moonlight meetup. I think that's the name of it. Um, really cool. So I'm a little late because I just ate. But everybody is just out here relaxing, talking, and meeting up. So super cool event. Really nice. After hanging at the event for a second, I decided to go back to the main Lido deck where they were having the 80s rock and glow party. This is where they do kind of like a glow neon night and um, really just play music and it's just like a night party on the deck. Alright guys, I am out of the room and getting ready to officially start the day. Um, so I woke up early and did a ship tour, films and everything before everybody woke up. Um, went back to the room, took a little bit of a nap and now I am waiting for a table at Sea Day Brunch. I'm looking at these water slides and I'm considering considering doing it i don't know i don't know um but as y'all can hear my voice is a little gone i'm a little tired and groggy even though i went to sleep at a decent time last night um i think i'm just still just dragging um but today is the melanin at sea cocktail party so the highlight of the melanin at sea cruise um as well as just the final night so we're gonna try to get in as much as we can tonight um we're planning planning to stay up late we'll see um but that, that's pretty much it for the day. Um, also, this is today's outfit. And both pieces are from Amazon. This is the Riora bodysuit, which is like buttery soft. I love these. I have bought it in so many colors at this point. Um, but be sure to check the description to find more details on the outfit. I'm sure I'll show it in full um, somewhere in this video. But we will be back from Sea Day Brunch.
All right, and we made it to brunch. So um, it was about a 20 minute wait this time. So definitely the earlier you can get here, the better. It's about 10 a.m. right now. Um, and I think yesterday we got here right at 9, 9.30 when they first opened, or last day we got here early. Um, so we're gonna try to order some different stuff to see if we can get another feel. But remember, I really enjoyed the Sea Day brunch on this ship for the first time. So um, hopefully what I get today is good, but you guys will get to see whatever I order. All right, guys, we have the steak and eggs with the eggs over medium and fruit. That is a new one. <laughs> Look at that beautiful voice. <laughs> All right, I had to get these breakfast potatoes on the side because they were so good. But this comes with fries and fruit. And we're also getting a skillet thingy again. So we have more food to come. So once again, Sea Day Brunch on the Carnival Venetia is a win. The best, the only Sea Day Brunch I've liked. So we are two for two on this ship. Everything was delicious and perfect. Definitely try it if you get an opportunity to get on this ship. Last one with the thank you card. what's up guys it's the finale we are headed to the melanin and sea cocktail party um it starts in about an hour but i'm gonna go ahead and leave in pre-game i really want to go back to the amali bar and grab one of those non-alcoholic drinks because i really did like it um i did find out that i'm experiencing a little bit of seasickness so i've just felt off all week and just really um <laughs> kind of queasy but it wasn't like a nauseous nauseous feeling um but i am realizing now that i'm rocking back and forth and i don't know if you guys can see it um this is what seasickness is so this is the first cruise this has ever happened to me and um this is the first cruise that i've felt so much moving and rocking the entire cruise so um i'm gonna try to limit the drinks tonight and keep myself steady and hopefully i feel well enough to really really celebrate and go out with a bang with this group because this has been an amazing trip and it's been so nice traveling with so many people and meeting so many people so i really really want to celebrate the night with them um so let's get ready to go to the bar and then we will see what the night holds for us we'll be back it's the melanated fit for me i'm feeling very goddess like with my little hair pulled back and earrings i never wear earrings but i saw these on amazon and had to have them so this is the look for the night courtesy of pretty little things y'all know where you'll find this dress in the description all right y'all the bars are barry okay it's not a single one that does not have a ridiculous line right now i thought i could come to the back and like find the hidden ones it doesn't matter so let's go back here to carnival and see if they're open and this is one that's furthest away so. <laughs> same thing every bar <laughs> This one isn't horrible though, so this might be the move back here. Hi right, guys, so we're back at Amari Bar. We're gonna try this again with this non-alcoholic island um, margarita until we get to the party at 4.30. That's when the drinks are gonna stop. So. Cocktail party time. I see some brown headed in the right direction. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Oh, looking oh, yeah, good in the brown. We're starting the night off right. The classic. Look, look at them with their rum punch. See, they're gonna be messed up tonight. Me, I'm gonna start off slow. Okay. Yeah. Smart. Like smart. We're, we're gonna go into the night. I, I would like to see the club tonight. We'll be back in here tonight. So. Enemy number one over here trying to get me messed up. It, let me see what time is it? Four o'clock? Four o'clock. Oh, get the shoes. Get the shoes. Get the shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. Bam. 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 That team move fit. Oh. oh. <laughs> Started this year. This group, you know, we, we had no idea that like, today all you guys will really be here in a brown, like at a cocktail party, having fun, we're sailing together, doing parties and, and all that stuff together. It's just amazing. 
Mr. and Mrs. Melanin at Sea were crowned, and then it was time to start the party. I need everybody out there seats. This ain't a show for me. This is Melanin at Sea. So I need to see you on the dance floor. We about to go long and strong, coast to coast, style to style, decade to decade. A little nonsense is what I need. Now if you want to get the best of me Got you smiling, that's for sure Funny how you had the best of you I don't know if I'll make it home I don't know, not like I care All I know, sound up this goal Only know I want the best of five So I actually really good I mentioned in another video that I rarely do the main dining room because I like specialty dining so much the only disappointment was this chocolate molten mess I cannot believe they messed up the molten cake like that is the highlight of cruises for me how could they do this it was just not cooked goodbye gondola lounge final dinner in the main dining room complete so now I am potentially about to head to get um, to the bar crawl. I'm gonna go charge my phone up, of course, but this beautiful, beautiful dining room with the ceiling, the staircase, and the gondola. We out. After dinner, I headed over to the Lido deck just to see what was going on, and they were having, I think this was an 80s party night. Um, so this was actually white night. We got a little switched up and our melanin at sea party was that night and we got it like that. So we had brown night, but there was white night on the ship. Whatever the red animal is, that's normally in the red <laughs> for the bar. I know it's a blue iguana, but the red, I can't remember. But that's where we are. It's club time. Y'all, my throat just started hurting. I woke up with my voice gone. I don't know if I'm getting sick or what's going on. I'm probably just tired. This is it, so we're gonna hit this club one last time and then it'll be time to go home. Well, back to New York tomorrow, then we're we'll going home. Where's the club? Four. Ooh. Ooh. 
I must not be the only one tired. What the heck is everybody? <laughs> Atrium closed. All right, we're gonna head in this casino one last time. is not in this club. Well, maybe, maybe. That's the club now. find everyone and they were in the club but this was not a late night for me I stayed for a little while hung out said my goodbyes and then I was out of there good morning it's about 7 a.m. and we have arrived back in New York and that is a wrap on another fabulous trip be sure to stay tuned to find out exactly what I thought. I'm going to do a couple of review videos after this, really kind of talking through um, some different aspects on the ship. But that is it. Fabulous Melanin SC group. Thank you so much, Melanin SC, for hosting such an amazing group, event, and everything else. Um, but that is going to be it. We will see you back next time. Bye. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join Melanin at C's Facebook group and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.